Good morning, how you guys doing? Hopefully you're having a good day. So, uh, I don't have anything really in particular planned for this video. I'm kind of just, uh, you know, taking some inspiration from Zosh. I love how his videos are just him doing what he wants. Like, I know a lot of my videos usually have a theme of just work, in which we'll have some work, and I don't know. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. But, I just want to give a shout out to Zosh, because he's been really awesome lately. Um, he just, he encourages me a lot, and I really, I, I love that dude. Can't wait to see him this month in Florida. Um, so right now, if, uh, I'm working on another video. This car, I've never done audio stuff. I've never had a good stereo, speakers, components, nothing. I don't know nothing about that. So uh, one of the next videos may or may not be before this video, we're doing that. Doe just helped me wire in all that stuff, but I goofed, bought the wrong rear speakers. There's no rear speakers in this car. I'm adding some. We got an amp. We got some blah, 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 blah. But I just got back from the audio store. We needed some more speaker wire, so we got some of that. I got some, just some Pioneer, what, two and, these are six and a half. These are what, two and three eighths deep? Because that was the issue I ran into. Isn't the ones I had before were hella, hella deep. Um, and right now I'm at Ace because the Turbo DA video that I did, uh, I had to drop the turbo off at the machine shop to get the bolt fixed and a lot of you guys were like oh well they're not on it blah blah and it's like that's a good tip thank you for that uh, I would have but that bolt was in crooked and then the bolt next to it also had bad threads so I dropped off the machine shop for them to situate it because I didn't want to deal with it um, but I'm going to ace now because I need new bolts to make the turbo bolt to the manifold because um, the ones he had were the wrong thread pitch for the new manifold uh, threads so that's what I'm doing here but yeah, we're gonna do this. We're gonna figure out the rest of the day. Um, got the car washed, well, rinsed off. I just mostly wanted to wash my wheels because all that brake dust from putting the StopTech pads on here. Killer. Uh, yeah, we still got some coffee. I'm getting a little shaky actually because it's a little bit later in the morning and I need some food. But let's get out with our day. Let's get some stuff done. Um, something done. So I'm kind of playing the waiting game right now, but I wanted to show you guys at least that I got these rear bars finished up. So this one, uh, right now I have the bumper off because yesterday I went to take some product photos of it, which I forgot my SD card for my camera, so I ended up just shooting on my phone, which is fine, I guess. But uh, So they don't all come with license plate mounts because if you want to mount your own license plate on there, that's totally up to you. I just did it so I could drive last night um, with it you know, the bumper off, but uh, it does fit the bumper. But uh, I already sold out the first batch of five of these, so the five are kind of like test fit dummies. Um, they, I test fit them all on my car, they all fit my car, but obviously it's gonna be a little a little bit different car specific. Um, so once I get confirmation that everybody's happy with them for the most part, uh, we'll make another batch, but I'm actually leaving for Florida next week, so uh, I wanted to get the five out, make some money, and uh, after I get back, I'll get more parts cut, so that way I can actually start making more and Braven is actually buying one of my bars, so I'm actually leaving here in a little bit uh, to go over to Bravis and Braven's house, aka Debbie Garage. If you guys don't watch them, you should go check them out. Good local dudes, other YouTubers out here. But Braven um, is Bravis' son. He has the DA, if you guys don't watch their channel, he has the DA that they're building. Uh, very, very nice build putting lots of time and effort and quality into it. So uh, I, he already has one of my front bars. He has basically one of the first ones that I produced. And now he wants to support me and pick up a, pick up a rear. So big shout out to them. Um, yeah, this is my, honestly, right now my day to day. Like I know most of my videos are my day by day, um, but this is one of those videos where I'm just kind of trying to figure out what I'm doing for the day, you know? Cause um, other than going by them, I don't really, oh, I have a little bit of work to do. I gotta hog out that manifold for the flange, that turbo Miata manifold I was building to sell. So other than that, like today is just a waiting game because my the turbo for the white DA is supposed to be done either today or tomorrow. So in the meantime, I'm just sitting here twiddling my thumbs. Um, I did just get a text that I got a job coming this weekend um, and it's gonna be a pretty hefty one, uh, doing an all wheel drive conversion on the wagon. So, on that uh, case swap wagon that I've been working on a few times. But yeah, this is kind of my day to day. I sit here, I post up, kind of wait for people to hit me up for work. And in the meantime, when I have material and when I have orders fulfilled to fulfill, then I'll come out here and I'll, I'll be in the shop all day cutting and welding. That's basically it. I mean, I love it. But when it's t idle times like this, that kind of stress me out. Just because I'm a very go, go, go type person. So these idle times just drive me bonkers, for lack of a better term. I just got the call, got the turbo picked up from the machine shop. So it turns out that the uh, the broken bolt, which was this one right here, uh, so they tapped this one no problem, 
and this one that had the bad threads in it or the broken stud. A lot of you guys were like, oh, just weld a nut to it. And I told you I didn't want to because I knew it went in crooked. Well, it's a good thing I didn't pull it out myself. I mean, granted, it would have made a difference because they still had to do this either way. Uh, they had to helicoil it or whatever you want to call it, like add a, add a thread, thread sort it. I forget what it's called. But, yeah, they had to add some threads because it pulled the thread straight out. But we got this turbo back. I got to run over to Bravest and Braven's house really quick, though, so I got to load up the bar in that car because I was going to show them the S2000. So hopefully it fits. And then we can come back, I can push the integer back in the yard, and then we can slap this turbo back on it, get that thing out of here, get paid for it, make some of that money. And I haven't printed out any business cards yet, but the guy has asked me if I had any. And um, so hopefully I can get some of those printed up pretty soon because they like to refer locals, uh, like people that need work done to their local fab guys. So that'd be nice. It'd be nice to pick up a little bit of side work just from people heading into the machine shop or something. So I got to hit up Vista Print and get some business cards made. Um, let's get over there, try and fit this thing in the car quick and get on over. Okay, it's a little tight, but she fits. Got the rags here just so it doesn't, you know, chew up anything. But uh, yeah, let's uh, hit the road. Okay. Are oh, you gonna take pictures? Well, you're already filming. <laughs> <laughs> you're all dark, all contrasted oh, there. Yeah. So, first thoughts. It's sick, bro. I Since love you're it. the first person to touch one besides me. Wait, really? Yeah. Again? Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, because I. Yeah, because yeah, right. I gotta ship the I'm other one. I'm the first one, one to touch one besides him again. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah. Still waiting for the other people to pay, so I gotta. Oh, okay. I told them I'd ship them all out Friday, so everybody had until like Friday. Hello! Awesome. Killing it. What's up? What's up, killers? Your paint booth looks so dope from the outside. <laughs> yeah, thank you. It looks so official. Yeah, it does, actually. Like the big old fans and everything, like the barn door looks so dope. Looking good. The primer looks so much more yellow on camera. The, the primer? Oh yeah, yeah. it kind of looks like my color. Yeah, like the so, cream or the khaki or whatever. Yeah, it's the cream color. Yeah, yeah, on camera. It's probably just the lighting when you guys are in here at night. Yeah. It makes it look a lot lighter. Yeah. There's the other bar here. Oh yeah? It's all wrapped up in there. So. <laughs> I, mean, I was just like, God, if you bring the weld iron for bad, I'm like, nah, I can't do it today. How much left you you got on this quarter panel, or is it basically popped um, out? He is just trying to get the, so there's two body lines he has to get. He has to get this top one here. There's a body line here that gotcha. fades out there. He needs to get that one, then he just wants to kind of like straight edge this one out. Yeah. So that one's good. He just has to get this body line, and then this is all good. This is all already clean. Yeah, I don't know how you do that stuff, like what reform, the yeah, like the body lines and stuff. Oh. I don't know. I don't get how to do that. Uh, I honestly have not touched the body work. <laughs> I was just like, I'll help you. He's just like, no, that's why I'm just like this. I'm just nice. Yeah. Because he's like... just like, you're not even going to get dirty, bro. You're just going to be doing this. So, like, I have a dent here. Then I have a dent right there. Is that to pull the dents or what? Yeah. How does that work? Oh, I'll show you right here. Is there a tool for that? Yeah, so it's a slide hammer. Oh, it's just one of those styles? Yeah, so it's it's not that hard. It's just it's tedious because, like, this was, like, really far in before. I don't even remember. Yeah. Then there's, like, the dash across there. I've already got this one almost all pulled out. Yeah. It just has some hot glue on there. Um, but, yeah, so it it's pretty simple. You just got to slowly okay. pull it so that it'll yeah, slightly pull the Yeah, I got the, the stud gun one, like the uh, one where okay. it welds a little pin on there, and you have the slide hammer, too, and you pull it out. But that one looks like it has more of a base to it, like it gets more. Because the one that I have is very, it's a really thin rod, so it kind of does a very fine point at a time. Yeah, you don't have to worry about grinding it down or sanding yeah, it. Yeah, well like, sometimes you get lucky and you can just like wiggle it off and it comes off clean because it's just like a spot weld. But yeah, this is looking good. Are you going to, what are you yeah, going to do yeah. with that? Um, probably weld up the rest of the holes and then grind it down again until it's flat. Then probably bondo so that, we're just trying to get it as flat as possible, but it's yeah. not going to. It's whoever decided they wanted to poop on it. <laughs> yeah. It's looking yeah. really good though. Just have to finish the quarter panel, pull out the dents on the on the rear, um, fill this in, then high build, block sand, um, high build again, then paint. That's so much work. I mean it's gonna be worth it, but like Yeah, I mean the paint, like I think if we like on it, the paint it should be painted by like end of next week. 
but that's like yeah. if we're on it. Yeah. If not, probably the week after that. Yeah, you're making me want to rip my Integra all the way down to Bear Shell again. I mean, I want to at some point anyway. I'm at the point where I'm just like, can we just do it? Like, can we just be done? Yeah. But, I mean, if you do it right the first time, you have to do it again. Because my engine bay, as soon as, as, soon as like, I enjoy the car a little bit, I'm taking it back apart. There. But, yeah. Right there? Yeah. Makes it look pretty aggressive, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's, gonna, he's gonna end up not running bumpers. <laughs> yeah, probably. You got it? Yeah. Like, like, if I ever need to do something on the car and I'm like trying to get out, like to go out to like a meet or something, yeah. and I don't want to put the bumper on, I'm like, eh. Yeah. As long as you want to, like, I'm just like super happy. Because the, the stock ones are so ugly. They're heavy, too. Like, that's, oh, I know. I mean, granted, you saw how light the front one was compared to it. It's about the same for the rear. Oh, I think this one weighs like nine or ten pounds. Left. There's like right, right where the intersection is, like the cross intersection. Well, that, on the corner, that, right. That's in Cal, that street. Yeah. The main oh, road is like, yeah, the corner, the corner house on the on the right. All right, so we just left Bravis's house. Uh, just get on the freeway here in a minute. He hooked it up with some shirts, so I'm incredibly thankful for that. Uh, Bravis soaked on his bar, but now we got like an hour drive home or so because we got to sit in traffic the whole time. Not really hyped about that. Made it back from Bravis' house just fine, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this Integra put back together really quick. The guy, uh, I texted him, said the turbo's back, blah, 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 and I should have it done tonight, so he can come pick it up. So he said it's cool, so I'm gonna try and get this bolted up really quick. Uh, thankfully, I just gotta bolt the turbo to the manifold, uh, bolt it to the car, install the feed in the drain, and just plumb the last few things. So let's just get this knocked out and get this out of here. This thing just absolutely kicked my ass. Uh, it should be plumbed up, hooked up, good to go. Um, just double checking everything right now, let's go over it. Got the wastegate hooked up, plumbed up, got the charge pipe hooked up, got the down tu dump tube hooked up, little close call on there, it's almost touching, but gonna have to deal with it for now. Uh, got the drain line, or the feed line hooked up, just shorten the drain line, it's still a little kink, he's gonna have to get a new one made, it's like a push lock style. Uh, I don't know how to mess with those, so I'm not really gonna worry about it. It should flow, I just don't like the kink, it was kinked before also, but O2 is hooked up and plugged in, down pipe is freaking hooked up that was a pain in the ass uh the manifold is hooked up found out these three bolts here these top three are thread serted uh the stud pulled out of this one when i originally did it so i had to replace it with one of my own studs because the old stud got stripped this whole uh i remember when i pulled it out it pulled the last thread out and i can't get a bolt in it so i don't want to damage it further so i'm just going to leave it alone and then he needs to get a stud to go back here just a short one to be able to fit a bolt there. So he's gonna have an exhaust leak off the bat. And then I also can't get this uh, bolt here tightened down all the way on the turbo because this bolt, I don't even know how we got this on because that's touching the flange, but I can't get the CHRA, like the right side of the turbo off the exhaust housing because this bolt is rounded. So uh, I'm kind of SOL, so uh, yeah. I mean, at least the fab work, which is the stuff that I was assigned to do, is done. So let's fire it up really quick, make sure there's no leaks. Um, oh, no oil leaks at least. Uh, that oil leak right there is from me just puking the freaking oil all over my chest and I just ruined one of my favorite shirts. So I'm not very happy, but um, hopefully fire this thing up really quick and it's okay. That's with that V band down there because it sounds a little off. Um, but other than that, everything looks good. I don't feel anything apparent right off the bat up here, so I think we're going to be okay there. I think we're good.
All right, so cars went home. Uh, I explained everything that I did, everything that went wrong and stuff, showed him the bolt that was problematic and actually one of them was already broken. Uh, anyway, he acknowledged that, so all is well. Time to wrap this day up though. I don't even know where we are for this video. Um, we got some stuff done though. We got some stuff, some contents, I guess. We got stuff for the cars. We got car stuff done. But I am going to wrap this video up here. So if you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to let me know in the comments down below. If you're new to the channel, hopefully you've considered subscribing. If you want to help support the channel, I do have the Patreon. You can sign up on that and uh, buy some merch. Anyways, guys, do what you love. Feel about the rest. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.